Hey guys, I'm back with another Caps Wardrobe question and answer video. I'm still answering the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram, which is amazing. So let's hop right in. The first question is, what's your favorite item in your capsule? I would have to say my favorite item currently is my high-rise cropped flare jeans, which are definitely more of a trendy piece, but I just really love how casual they look. I love cropped. I feel like I think all of my pants that I have in my wardrobe currently are cropped because I just love that kind of vintage look and I can just wear these jeans with so many things. Have you ever considered making your own clothes? Also, what do you think about creating a standard uniform for yourself? I have definitely thought about making my own clothes, not all of my own clothes, but I've made my poncho. I'm actually going to rework it a little bit for my fall capsule. Right now it's very much a poncho and I wanted to have more distinguished sleeves and be more like a big duster. I guess not big, but like a jacket sort of thing. So I'm going to try to do that and see how that works. I also have been on the hunt for kind of a, a high-waisted full skirt. I've had those before, um, but I haven't been able to find one so I might try to make one. I feel like those would be easy because it's just a full circle and then you sew it, right? I don't know. We'll see if I can find fabric that I like enough to make it into a skirt, but yeah, I definitely feel like my eyes have been open to being able to make my own clothes. I, I never really thought about that before this last capsule, so I'm excited to see you know what I can do with that. Then when it comes to a uniform, it's funny, I actually was just reading an article on Man Repeller about uniform dressing, and um, in that article, they talk about how it's interesting that a lot of really, really creative people, especially like in the fashion industry, well, they focused on people in the fashion industry, wore the same type of thing every day. Um, and they talked about how interesting that was for people that are like predicting trends and pushing out stuff like that in the fashion industry, that they're not following the stuff that they're pushing out there. I don't know if I would ever go full uniform style. I feel like the capsule wardrobe idea for me is sort of my version of my uniform. So I guess to answer this question, I sort of have a standard uniform for myself. I admire the really creative people that like only wear black all the time. I don't know if I would do that, but I like the idea. Do you find that you wear regularly all the pieces in your capsule or are there a handful of pieces that you prefer and wear more often? I would say there are pieces that I wear more often, definitely depending on like what my week looks like. If I'm just being casual and like working at home or like going out with Nick or something, I wear jeans and a t-shirt. Um, I can tuck my t-shirt in and wear a belt and a red lip and kind of dress up that look. But for the most part, jeans and t-shirts are just like my go-to and I love that. Um, if you look at my closet right now, you'll see that the only pieces that are hanging up are my black skinny jeans because it's been way too hot to wear black skinny jeans and my black dress because I just haven't felt like wearing that and my kind of poncho sort of thing. So those are the things that I didn't take with me to YouTube next up. I went, actually I think it'll be like two weeks ago when this video goes up. Right now my entire wardrobe is on my bed because I had to wash it all when I got back obviously. So that was kind of a telling thing for me like okay these are the things that I wanted to have with me that week and the things that are in my closet are things that I just like didn't feel like I needed. Is there one piece of clothing that you would recommend for all capsule wardrobes? One thing that is the backbone and so helpful to have for the rest of the wardrobe? This is a really hard question to answer for everyone because everyone needs their wardrobe to do different things for them. So if I were just answering for me and maybe someone that had a similar lifestyle to the one that I have, I would say great jeans. I live in jeans and I just really appreciate, you know, jeans that fit me well. So I would say find a pair of jeans that fit you well that you feel great in and then build from there, maybe? How long did it take you to transition from fast fashion, phase out anything you didn't need, find ways to shop as a conscious consumer, and create a proper curated capsule wardrobe? If you're still on that journey, I'd love to know. So I believe I stopped shopping in the fast fashion stores last fall. If I remember correctly, that was the capsule, my first capsule that I didn't have any new pieces in. I might have had a couple pieces, like a shirt or something from Everlane, and then from there on out, I only thrifted. Um, when I say thrifted too, I 
bought things on eBay from people that were selling their pieces. Um, not from like the big eBay stores that are like buying and reselling, you know what I mean? And then I shopped at places like Buffalo Exchange and um, what's the other one? Crossroads. So those are like very curated thrift stores. I would, I don't really think those as thrift stores, but they're like secondhand consignment shops. And then um, just a Goodwill. So those were kind of the places that I would shop. So that's almost been a year now. And so shopping secondhand is kind of the way that I decided to be a conscious consumer because I didn't have to, you know, really dive deep into a company's ethics or like, you know what I mean? Like try to find companies that are fair trade. I just only shopped secondhand and that was an easy way for me to go about that. But I don't want to say that I'm only ever going to do that because I don't want you guys to think that I'm like going back on things that I've said, you know what I mean? I will never go back to fast fashion, but I think in addition to shopping secondhand, I will be open to supporting companies that are doing really great things and are fair trade and ethical. And then the time it took for me to create a curated, a proper curated capsule wardrobe, it's definitely gotten better. Um, in that fall capsule that I was talking about, the one where it was the first one that I hadn't purchased new stuff, I remember I included this red dress and it was really thin and I thought that I would wear it in the fall with like a sweater over it and it turns out that I never wore it because it was like a paper thin dress. Um, but now I wear it as a beach cover up and I've gotten a lot of use out of it this summer. I don't have it included in my like formal capsule wardrobe because I only wear it to the beach. But I mean there's, I feel like there's always little things like that that need to be tweaked. In that situation I absolutely loved the, you know, fabric and the coloring of this dress and so I was kind of blinded to the fact that I definitely wasn't going to wear it in the fall. But, um, I mean, I feel like things like that are always just learning experiences for me and you learn and then you try to do better the next time. So those are all the questions I'm going to answer today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat to get glimpses into my capsule wardrobe throughout the week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!